I'm starting off my morning with the tastiest matcha latte I've ever made. It just tastes so creamy and good. It's currently 11.35. I'm gonna get ready so I can go to the beach because let's check the weather actually. It's 26 degrees Celsius, which is 78 degrees Fahrenheit for all of my American friends. So it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty hot already. <laughs> hot for Vancouver standards. Um, and it's gonna get up to 29 degrees today. So let's hope I don't get sunburnt. I'm gonna apply a thick layer of sunscreen. If you wanna see how crazy Vancouver summers are, it's 29 degrees today and then all of a sudden it's gonna be rainy and then a little bit of sun again and then rain <laughs> And then I made my way to the beach, Sunset Beach to be exact. This is my favorite beach. And it was actually a pretty windy day. So here's me contemplating leaving because it's too windy. And then I did. And I decided to make my way over to Stanley Park instead to be amongst the trees. That's the beauty of living in downtown Vancouver. You're literally a walk away from the beach and the park and from city life. So the options are endless. Also, fun fact, Stanley Park is actually North America's third biggest park. It's bigger than Central Park, and it's a great place to come for solitude. Right, yeah. And I ended up talking to my friend Amanda over the phone. It's always really nice catching up with her and discussing things like spirituality and personal growth. I've just been going through a lot of of things <laughs> in my life and it's always great just talking to a friend about it. Thank you so much for listening. Then I met up with Harry and we went to Joe Fortes for happy hour. This was actually my first time visiting this place and it's really good if you like oysters because it's like $2 per oyster. I tried really hard to convince myself to like oysters, but in conclusion, they're just sea boogers. You can't convince me otherwise. They're kind of nasty. Sorry. Hi guys. The background is such a mess. <laughs> that's an air conditioner. That's an unmade bed. Today's the next day. I spent quite literally the entire day doing errands and editing a video. So I didn't really vlog anything, obviously. But yeah, I don't know. I kind of enjoy mundane days like these though. I don't know, just working on content. It kind of makes me feel like I'm a full-time content creator, but I'm not, I'm just on break <laughs> from my actual full-time job. But anyways, I guess let's fast forward to a more interesting part of this week. It's the next morning, I'm in my comfy robe my room is still a mess. You're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> so we are actually going to do a hike. I don't know if you guys are aware, but the gas prices are insane right now. Um, so we're just trying to do a simple hike that we can just take the bus to. And I think I found the one. Um, let me just show you. So I'm thinking that we'll take two buses from downtown Vancouver all the way to Lynn Creek over in North Vancouver. I'm thinking we'll hit up the Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. I've mentioned it in one of my Vancouver videos, like free things that you can do in Vancouver. This suspension bridge is absolutely free, unlike the Capilano one, which costs money. And there's a bunch of trails around here, as well as something called the 30-foot pool, which, I mean, I see people swimming in it, so <laughs> that looks kind of interesting. This is literally how I plan like any of my outings or adventures, I just kind of like type in hikes on Google Maps, just like point to somewhere on the map, and it never fails. Super easy. So if you're ever exploring Vancouver, just do that. Just open Google Maps, click hikes. Okay, we've made it. The Lynn Canyon. What a pretty entrance. 
Hi guys, it's the next morning. My allergies are kicking in, but today's a really hot day. I just went to the gym and now we're gonna grab some pho because what better to have on a hot day than some hot soup? <laughs> I think I heard somewhere on TikTok, which is not the most reputable source, that drinking like hot things or like eating hot things on a hot day is actually helpful. Like they do that in certain places in Southeast Asia. Could be wrong. Time for some breakfast soup. And then we're gonna just check out some things around the city. Let's go. bad at ending vlogs but here I am ending this vlog <laughs> if you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below if you enjoy these types of like day in my life in Vancouver videos I would hope that they kind of give you some inspiration if you're visiting Vancouver the message I've been sharing throughout my channel is like there's so many things you can do for free here you don't really need to pay a lot of money the beach the mountains everything is here within walking slash busing distance. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it provided some inspo and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.